Hey YouTube, today we are going to look at how to assemble Flex RC Mini Core. First we are going to mount flight controller to carbon fiber adapter with long nylon screw, which can be found with FX20A speed controller you received. Just insert nylon screw and then screw nylon nut from the other side of the adapter. Quickly check that you have enough of thread to screw another nylon nut on the other side of the flight controller. If everything is fine, then continue installing remaining screws as before. Double check that flight controller fits well and install screws to secure it in place. This is approximately the result we want to get. We want to have USB on the right side and speed controller connector on the left side. Now we have to remove speed controller power cables and solder them to face inside. The main reason is because in most cases on Flex RC frames, speed controller is installed at 45 degrees and we don't want battery connector to be cut by propellers in this case. We will have to slightly trim integrated screw to allow screw from the other side of the spacer because otherwise there will be not enough of space. You typically need around 3 mm of thread left. Once you are happy with how first spacer fits, just repeat it for other three spacers. Insert signal wires connector into the speed controller. Then align speed controller with flight controller and cut this back output wires to the length you need. Remove insulation and then tint them. Then tint a little bit plus 5 and ground pads on flight controller and solder these back output wires there. If you want the bat to work with PKBLX, then you will have to solder wires from the battery pads on flight controller to the battery pads on ESC. In this case I didn't do it. Now we are going to solder signal wires to flight controller. Yellow wire will have to be soldered to EC4 and blue wire to EC2. So just remove insulation, then tint these wires. Tint pads on flight controller and connect them together.
Next we are going to solder orange wire to EC1, green wire to EC3. So in the same fashion as before, we will cut them to the length, remove insulation, tint them, tint pads on flight controller and solder them together. I will suggest to always double check that all wires are soldered very well before continuing. Now we can finally put flight controller on top of the speed controller and screw them together with nylon screws. After all screws are installed, we can insert signal wires connector back into the speed controller. Tuck wires inside and maybe even use hot glue so they won't come out during the flight. the last step we will have to install battery connector. First cut wires to the same length, remove insulation, tint these wires with solder, Don't forget to slide on heat shrink on these wires if you have it handy, otherwise you can use electrical tape, which I used in my case. Tint battery connector pads and then sew the wires to this connector. It's much more convenient to use handy hands for soldering, but I didn't have them, so I was doing it without it. A little bit more complicated, but still doable. I didn't have heat shrink of the right size, so I just used electrical tape, which works as well. Just a little bit messy and requires trying. I hope that you enjoy this guide and find it useful. Please leave your comments below and let me know if you want to see anything like this in the future or have any other questions. Thank you!